Chapter Eight: Business Owner. So today was Saturday. What does a normal kid do on Saturday? Maybe slip in, relax, watch some TV? Nope, not for me. Today was hard work, but it was also awesome. First, Uncle Jake and I got up and did a really cool workout. We did ten pull-ups, then a sprint to the end of the driveway and back, and then twenty push-ups and another sprint to the end of the driveway and back. We did that ten times, and even though Uncle Jake did it faster than me, I still did it. When we got done with the workout, Uncle Jake had me bring my old rusty bike into the garage. Then we got out my dad's tools, and Uncle Jake told me, "Okay, now take it apart." Take what apart? I asked him. The bicycle, he told me. What part of it should I take apart? I asked. All of it. Uncle Jake said, "All of it? Yes, all of it. This whole bike needs to be cleaned up and have the rust removed, and some parts need to get oiled up. So yes, all of it." Okay, I told Uncle Jake as he handed me a wrench and point to the front tire. I took the wrench from him and began to take off the front tire. It was pretty rusted up, and I cranked hard on the wrench. And eventually, it came loose on one side, but the other side wouldn't budge. That's what happens when you don't take care of things, Uncle Jake said as he handed me a spray bottle. Spray some of that on there and let it soak for a few minutes, he continued. I followed his instructions, sprayed it on, and let it sit for a few minutes. Then I tried again, and it came off. Get the pedals off next, he said. So I took off the pedals, then the seat and the chain guard before taking off the back tire and the chain, and finally the brakes. As I took off each piece, Uncle Jake had me put it on the floor in a very specific place, basically putting each part of the bike on the ground close to where it would be if the bike was assembled, but lying on its side. When I finally set the brake parts down on the ground, I was done. Okay, now what? I asked Uncle Jake. Now you have to remove all the rust from all these parts and prime them for paint. He said. Okay, but how? I asked. Well, there is your first problem. You see, your dad doesn't have all the right tools for this job. You need a wire brush and some metal sandpaper. And when you are done removing the rust, you will need some primer paint and some colored paint for the paint job. You are going to need to buy those. But I don't have any money, I said sadly. You will. Yes, I thought to myself. Uncle Jake is going to give me money. Thanks so much, Uncle Jake. Thanks for giving me some money to get this bike fixed up. You're the best uncle ever. Uncle Jake laughed. Give you money? <laughs> That isn't happening. If I gave you money, I wouldn't be the best uncle. Not at all. Hmm. Actually, Uncle Jake, I think you would be awesome if you gave me the money I need to get this bike all fixed up. Uncle Jake shook his head. That's what a lot of people would think, but they would be wrong. It's like I told you the other day. If I just give you the money. Then you wouldn't have earned it. It wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't understand the hard work and time it takes to earn that money. Then you won't appreciate what you do with the money, and you won't think you need to take care of the things you buy with your money. That's why you're going to get a job. Uncle Jake, it actually does sound pretty cool to earn my own money, but there is one major problem here. What's that? Well, Uncle Jake, it is the same problem I told you about the last time we talked about this. If you haven't noticed, I'm a kid. I'm only 11 years old. How can I get a job? Jobs are for adults. What business would hire a kid? Well then, Mark, I guess you are going to have to create your own business. Now this made absolutely no sense to me at all. What was he talking about? 
Have my Uncle Jake gone crazy? Uncle Jake, let me say this again. I'm only 11 years old. How can I start a business? It is actually pretty simple, Uncle Jake replied. Think of something that you can do that other people don't like doing. What? I asked Uncle Jake. I didn't understand what he was going with this. What can you do that other people don't want to do? What skills do you have? Uncle Jake, I know I'm a warrior kid and I can work out and do jujitsu, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm 11 years old. What skill do I possibly have that I could turn into a business? Uncle Jake stared at me for a few seconds. Then he said, come with me. He walked out of the garage. I followed him as he walked across the yard to the shed that my bike had been leaning against. He opened the door and said, there you go. I had no idea what he was talking about. I don't get it. What? He pointed to the back corner of the shed at my dad's lawnmower. You are going to mow lawns. That is something that most people really don't feel like doing. And it is something that you can do. And those two things together, and you have yourself a business. Uncle Jake was right again. No, mowing lawns isn't fun, which is why most people don't like doing it, including my mom and dad. But I can do it, and I already do it for my parents. So why not do it for other people as well and get paid for it? Yes, that's a great idea, Uncle Jake. I can do that. And I'm pretty good at it too. I'm a business owner, me. Hold on there, Mark, Uncle Jake said. I got worried that there was something I hadn't thought of, some problem. What is it, Uncle Jake? Well, if you own a business, then your business needs a name. What is your business going to be called? I thought for a minute. Then the answer jumped into my head. Mark's meticulous mowing, I shouted out. I like it, Uncle Jake said. Congratulations, business owner. Thanks, Uncle Jake, I shouted. And that was it. Today, I became Mark, warrior kid and business owner. Yes, awesome. Mark mentioned that he did an awesome workout with Uncle Jake on a Saturday morning. Which two types of exercise did they do? That's right, they did pull-ups and sprinting. There are a couple of tools that Mark needs to use to clean up his bike. What do you call this tool? That's a spanner or a wrench. What about this? That's a screwdriver. And this? That's a saw. What about this? That's a wire brush. And this? That's a metal sandpaper. Why wouldn't Uncle Jake simply give Mark the money to buy the tools that he need? That is because Uncle Jake wants Mark to understand the hard work and time it takes to earn that money. If he simply gives the money to Mark, then he wouldn't have earned it and it wouldn't mean anything to him. So Mark won't appreciate what he does with the money. So he will not take care of the things that he buys. Now in this chapter, Uncle Jake helped Mark come up with his own business, <laughs> Mark Meticulous Mowing Company. So if you were Mark and you want to earn some pocket money, some allowance for yourself, what company would you have set up? Anything that you can do to help others? Things that other people might not want to do themselves and yet you can do it. What would it be? Comment down below and let me know. Okay, in this chapter, I want to talk about present perfect tense. Do you know how to formulate a present perfect tense? That's right, we use has, have, plus past participle. So if the subject is singular, we use has. And if the subject is plural, we use have, plus pp, past participle. Some example from the book. Mark hasn't looked after his bike, so now it's all rusty. Uncle Jake has trained since he joined the Navy SEAL team. Last one. 
Nathan has teased a lot of his classmates. So when we talked about past event, obviously we use past tense. So when do we use present perfect tense? Now, if something that happened in the past and yet it continues on to the present, then we can use present perfect tense. For example, Nathan has teased other classmates, including Mark, which means the action of teasing happened in the past, which continue on to the present because Nathan has never stopped teasing his classmate. So now here we can use present perfect tense. Nathan has teased other classmates. Now try to come up with one sentence using present perfect tense. Think of something that happened in the past and it continue on to the present. How about Mark doing workout with Uncle Jay? It's happening in the past and they're still doing it right now. Can you write down one sentence using present perfect tense? Comment down below. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this chapter and that you were inspired to make impossible things possible. Just like Mark, from a normal kid to now a business owner. How cool is that? All you need is just to think outside the box and a why not can do attitude. You will be surprised what ideas you could come up with. Sure, why not? <laughs> and now moving forward, Nathan continues to annoy a lot more people. And this time, not just Mark. So Mark decided to take this matter in his own hand. What's he gonna do? <laughs> what would happen? Stay tuned. I'll see you next week. Bye.